what is up you guys so in this video i'm simply gonna be awakening every single fruit in the game except maybe leopard and gyo and the rubber fruit as they are very hard to obtain now i did do a previous take so but the recording cut out so i already have awakened three of them uh, lightning is included for those but i'll just start the showcase First up, we of course got the lightning with the awakened version, the dash and double jump changes to have this cool lightning trail behind it. Then we got the L4, which is actually really cool, 100 million VAR, pretty cool as well. Amaru, which nothing really much, not as I can be seen. Awakened Raigo, now that is cool, holy. God damn. That move is super cool. And then the 100 million volt shock. But yeah, most of these moves are just instant moves. Or very quick, you see. Nothing happens. Simply because they just straight up attack the enemy. None of the bullshit. Man, I can't get enough of that. That is sick. Well... I'll get on to the next route and I'll see you guys. Now then, the next route is Chop, which I have already awakened. But it's pretty common, so you should be able to see the normal moves yourself. First up is the Island Split, which looks like this. It's a pretty cool move. Then you have a Flight Move, which is just for traveling. It's pretty slow though. Next up, the Atomic Chop which just does damage to enemies nearby you. The Chop Circus, which is more of an AoE attack. And then finally, the Dimensional Chop, which is just a large punch move. I'll see you guys with the next one. Now then, next route is the Fire Flute, which I have already awakened, as to the recording failing. But uh, yeah, we got the Higan, which is a pretty cool move, uh, can use from this one. I'm gonna butcher that name, so I'm not gonna say it. But yeah, this move, it's actually really cool. Very nice effects. You got a flying move, which is actually pretty fast. And Enkai Hiba Hibashira, which is a large explosion. Also really cool. And the Dai Enkai Entei. Looks are pretty goddamn nice. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Now then, the next route is the Magma, so first I'll be showing the Unawakened and then the Awakened version. First move, Hellhound, pretty cool effects. Propelling Magma, just another flying move for traveling. And you can, as you guys can see, you can walk on water without taking damage, which is really nice. You got the Magma Wave, large AoE. Hell Rain, which just puts a ball. A bunch of meatballs in your face. And uh, yeah, I'll go awaken this fruit. Now then, we're back. I fully awakened the magma fruit for 7,500 gems. And uh, as you guys can see, you get a cool little thingy on you. And let's try it. The first move, Gut Punch. Just a punching move. That is not the... That is the Phoenix fruit. Next up, we got the magma swell. Which, I don't know, I think it uh, only works on enemies. Just like the god move. And then we got the volcanic devastation. And this move looks sick, bro. The magma charge. Also really good for traveling. The great eruption. And just, just another large move. So yeah, that's it. I'll be showing the guys the next one. Now then, for this fruit, I actually went into a private server, just because those other guys were kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, we got the light fruit, and the first move is the light particle, which is just a small bullet. We got the Pika Fly, which is r crazy fast, man. It's really good for traveling. We got the Yasakani no Magatama. I'm sorry if I butchered that. 
But yeah, you pretty much go into a light particle and you shoot tons of those bullets. Oh wow, it takes a lot of time. Then we got the ray of light, which is just one large one. So yeah, I'll awaken it. Actually, I can do that right here. Go into your inventory. You obtain a light scroll from a boss. You simply use that. And boom, now you got full awakened light fruit. First up, the light kick. As you guys can see, just kick the light as I said. You got the new peak of light. Also incredibly fast and even looks pretty cool. Then you got the Blade of Radiance, which is you pull out a sword. You got the Gemstone Barrage, the same move as earlier, but just way quicker. You got the, oh wow, this is for a long time. You got the Yata no Kagami, which is the mirror move, where you basically go from side to side kick down so yeah that is it pretty cool now then next up is the phoenix root first move bursting phoenix pretty cool you got the phoenix flight which just puts some wings on you you can still move juice while in the flight you got the kick of the phoenix which you got the flaming phoenix fears oh that's actually pretty sick uh, yeah, I'll awaken it. The way you do this is by going to Phoenix Nest and killing Marco until you get one of these, a Phoenix Scroll. You use it, and boom. You got the Owl Notori. Oh, that is sick. The Pineapple Stone. Yeah, these effects are sick. Healing Frames, which I guess just heals you. Man, these particles are really crazy. We get the Hybrid Form. As you guys can see, you can just get your wings with you. And then we got the full form, which is an entire phoenix. And you can use your moves where you feel like it. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and traded over a scroll from my old account. So this time we can do the ice fruit. And the first move, as you guys can see, you can also walk on the water with this, just to mention it. First move is the Pheasant Beak, then you got the Heaven Piercing Ice, you got the Ice Skating, oh this is pretty sick, just another traveling move, extremely slow though, you got the Skyfall, large AoE, and of course if we go over here, search Ice, get our scroll, we can use it. And yeah, cool. Then we got the ice ball. Okay, pretty cool. Glacial spikes. Ice skating. V2. Still extremely slow. Would not recommend. Ice block. This is just a blocking move. Guess you take no damage. You got the... Oh, it doesn't stop. We got the ice age. Oh yeah, that's sick. Oh uh, yeah, I'll get the next route. Next route is gonna be the Quake, which I have already awakened since I used it earlier in my gameplay. But uh, yeah, to get this, you need to get a scroll from the Maze Raid, which is 40% drop chance. So yeah, first up is Devastating Punch, which is a very, very wide range attack. We got the Island Shake, pretty cool. We got Dark Matter. Which is another kind of like devastating punch. Then we got the liberation, which you another kind of like island shake, and then finally the severe tsunami. As you guys can see, it like covers an entire island. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. So for the next route, I was thinking about doing sand or sooner and smoke. But for those, I need a few more gems. So I'll be grinding Pika, and I'll do a quick time lapse.
Okay, so as you guys might have seen, I just got back from grinding. We actually managed to be extremely lucky and get an extra spare pair of the golden boots. Nothing exciting really happened at the end, so I just cut it out. But uh, yeah, now we got the sand fruit, uh, and here we got the desert spada, which looks like this. Pretty cool. The desert girasol, I don't know. Probably butchering that as well. And then it ends off with an explosion. Sand Tornado. The Ground Suck. So yeah, pretty cool. I'll be awakening this fruit and I'll be there. Now then, I am back from awakening. As you guys can see, it took 10,500 gems. Which is quite a few, especially for such a bad fruit. But uh, yeah, first up, you need to have desert arm. Okay, so first up is the desert armament, which I'm guessing is an advanced. Yeah, it's an advanced version of the armament haki. Actually, looks really sick, and it allows you to do some M ones. Pretty cool. We got the desert rain. Also looks beautiful. The strangling dehydration. I'm guessing that is on an opponent. Yeah, nothing at all. We got the ground death, which turns the entire floor to sand. We got the desert rail gun. Ooh, this is a cutscene. That looks sick. Really cool. And then lastly, but not least, we got the desert flying move, which actually isn't too slow for it being an awakened. So yeah, pretty cool. Next route. Okay, next up is the smoke fruit. I'm not actually sure that it has an awakening, so I guess I'll try. First move, the smoke blaze. Ooh, those are some nice effects. The white snake. The white floor. White out. So yeah, pretty cool. It also makes you invisible. So yeah, I'll awaken it and here we go. Okay guys, we're back. We got the fully awakened fruit. It has the usual price of seven and a half thousand gems. So yeah, let's check it out. First up, wait two seconds. Okay guys, the Roblox just weirded out. I think it has something to do with data model, but it's all good now. So yeah, let's continue this showcase. First up, we got the white strike, which has an animation. And I'm guessing it's on an enemy player as well. Next up, the white barrage. Okay, this is sick. Then you get to aim it all over the map. Then we got the smoke flight. Pretty cool as well. Also decently fast. And then lastly, no, not lastly, we also got the smoke bomb. Oh, also cool. Nice animations. But now lastly, we got the white hound. So yeah, next fruit. Okay guys, so next up we got the mochi fruit. Now, I already awakened this fruit earlier because I had to use it for my gameplay, you know. I, it was my main fruit for a part of time. But yeah, first move is the donut punch. Which pretty much teleports you to an enemy and punches the ground. Next up, the mochi bullets. Which just a lot of bullets you can shoot out like a gun. Then we got the shower of mochi, pulls out all these strings, which you can see you just shoot them and have conqueror's hockey at the end. Then finally we got the mochi ground destroyer, which is like a frisbee you throw and it just beats up the ground and stuns the boss. So yeah, in total this fruit cost 11k gems to awaken or something. So yeah, that is it, next fruit. Okay guys, next up is the string fruit. So first move is overheat, pretty cool. Then we got the Gokishiko, oh no, I butchered that, Gokishikito. Then we got the string clone, which just makes a duplicate and he fires bullets. We got birdcage, which is the birdcage move. So yeah, I'll fully awaken this if I have enough and then I'll get back. Okay guys, so I did actually have enough to awaken it. 
as you guys can see it cost about 7500 but yeah first move break white oh that is sick oh wow let me see that again holy though it takes a toll on your computer next up over white also extremely cool move puppeteer goes all the way in the air I'm guessing that controls an enemy impale guessing that does the same as well impaling an enemy then we got the guard thread which uh, looks extremely cool so yeah that is pretty much the string fruit next route will require a lot of grinding so yeah that is it we can just show the guard thread from better angle yeah cool well next route okay guys so the next route is actually the venom fruit so i'll be doing quick showcase and then i gotta grind the impel down tons of times until i finally get the drop and then i can awaken it so yeah first up venom dragon pretty cool venom blast not as cool venom transport which is kind of like a utility move venom demon pretty cool transformation not gonna lie and then of course it makes all the moves go red instead so yeah that is it i'll be doing this raid over and over again until i get the drop yo welcome back it is now the next day i've spent a few hours grinding for the venom scroll Oh no, it took so long, the NPCs are just super strong, but uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. So first up, we got the, oh we need to awaken, we got Venom Bullets, okay, these also look incredibly sick. We got the Venom Slide, just a traveling move, then we got Venom Bomb, the Venom Rain. And then we got the ultimate Hydra. Now that is sick. And now we have a transformation. The Awakened Venom Demon. Also looks super sick. We got, now we got the Venom Bullets. We got the Venom Punch. The Venom Slide which we can oh we still can we still can and it's actually really fast i'm gonna see if can we go on water we cannot we got the venom bomb the venom rain and then finally the ultimate hydra so yeah next route now then we got the operation fruit i've already awakened this as it's probably the most useful fruit in the game right now and uh, yeah i needed it for grinding first up we got our room covers basically an entire island then first move is the cut then counter shock then we got whirlwind then we got amputate we might need to wait for some enemies to spawn And then we got shock wheel. Pretty cool. Then over here, we if I go over here. We got the puncture wheel, which is another cutscene move. So yeah, pretty sick. Okay guys, we're here in the Pika dungeon, and I think I'm just gonna do a time lapse while killing him over and over again until we have enough fruits, or enough gems, sorry, to awaken our next fruit. gems which we need i've just done the peak rate a bit so let's get the gravity fruit and eat it so yeah the first move is the gravitational pressure which will be shown here 
looks really cool large aoe then we got the gravity flight and i'm just gonna head over to ice island so yeah then we got the meteor strike which is just pulling out a meteor we got the meteor shower which is just multiple meteor strikes following your cursor around so yeah pretty cool i'll just go awaken it now then we got the fully awakened gravity fruit the first move is the gravity press and it oh yeah it costs 9000 gems to awaken so yeah first move gravity press the effects are so cool looks really really good definitely my favorite then we got the gravity push the meteor pull which oh that also looks sick we got the city lift which is also just beautiful then and then we got the gr awakened gravity flight which is pretty fast also looks really cool with the effects and then finally the meteor rain which is just a lot of meteor strikes so yeah that is it this video really took a long time i'd really appreciate it if you showed some support and if not i'll see you guys in the next one